Boston and Brooklyn, and look at NBA TV's own Mike Fratello celebrating St. Patty's Day. That's the czar, the telestrator. Yes, on to basketball. How about Linsanity finds Rondé Hollis Jefferson for the slam? Boston. What would they do to answer? Avery Bradley coming off the screen. He had 11 points in the half. Boston up by four at that point. On to the second half. Nets going to run to start the third. There's Lynn Sanity again, a.k.a. German Lynn. Finds the big man, Brooke Lopez, who knocks down the three. The Nets in transition. And then how about Jeremy Lynn? You shoot your shot. It's in there. Brooklyn up by one. But the Celtics, of course, they know what to do. They respond with a run of their own. Marcus Smart to Jay Crowder. Layup City. And then the Celtics moving in transition. Kelly Olenek, he's going to get this layup right here. Reverse. Boston up by 10. Into the fourth quarter. The Nets start the fourth hot from outside. Randy Foy drains the three. Who else is going to get a shot? That would be Quincy AC from the corner. The Nets knock down eight threes in the second half. Brooklyn up by three for Jay Crowder. The pride of Marquette bringing the Celtics back. He knocks down a three of his own. And then he's going to go baseline with the jam. Crowder had 24 points. Looking at the crowd. Oh, yeah, he's feeling himself. Nine seconds left. Nets down by three. Nets inbound to Brooke Lopez, who launches three. No good. The Nets get another look. Ugh. Quincy AC misses, and the clock runs out. Boston ends up victorious on St. Patty's Day, 98-95.